Quo. We're joined now by Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Family Healthcare in Ridgeland. Dr. Quinn, thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. Nationally, we're seeing younger people not getting vaccinated at the same rate as older ones. Now, what's behind that? Well, I've been doing a lot of research and, and I've been looking at a lot of different sources. And what's very commonly repeated in these sources is the fact that a lot of the young generation have a, a number of reasons, but some of these most common reasons are a lot of them feel like the, vac the vaccine is not really needed because there's a belief uh, un untrue belief that coronavirus can't hurt them because in the past the, the the messaging was if you're 65 or older if you have chronic medical conditions you are vulnerable meaning that you have a higher chance of losing your life and this was true and it still is but at the same time the message is being a little bit misunderstood that if you're young you have nothing to worry about also the the the, the messaging is uh, some of them are getting bad information that maybe they'll have problems having children later on in life. Some are saying the side effects are so terrible they won't be able to work. I mean, and, and the list goes on and on and on. But the bottom line is we have to work on our messaging and we have to get this information to this generation. You know, here in Mississippi, we were one of the first states to open vaccines up to those people who are 16 years old and older. Has that made a difference? Most definitely, because I mean, the bottom line is, if it's available, then there's a, a higher probability that, you know, these this generation or this group of individuals will get it. And we need to make sure that everyone knows through messaging such as this. But also, we have to help our young people understand that getting vaccinated is not just for the individual being vaccinated, but it's for the community on a whole. One thing that's really driven this uh, coronavirus pandemic is the fact that individuals that are younger typically may have less symptoms, but they can serve as carriers. And, and basically what happens is in a lot of cases, they can be very mild to moderate or, or no symptoms at all, asymptomatic. And they can go around others and pass it on. But also all these mutant virulence that are coming out what's going on is a lot of young people might get it and then when the, the, the virus gets inside of your cells it replicates millions of times that's more of an opportunity for these mutant strains and some of these strains are, are making people more sick i mean a lot of these hospitals in the united states and all over the world are, are starting to get more young people that are very very sick and and we really need to get this messaging out to the community hmm. Dr. Quinn, uh, our vaccination rate, is it keeping up with the rest of the country? We kind of hear conflicting views there. Most definitely. I mean, Mississippi is doing a great job. Dr. Dobbs and the, the rest of the team at the Mississippi State Department of Health, they've been reaching out to smaller entities like, like our clinic and, and other providers and, and working and coordinated just to get the word out. Initially, the African-American community we were having a lot of problems. We were not getting vaccinated. The information was not out there. And Dr. Dobbs, he called me on a Friday night at 8.30 at night. He said, <laughs> Quinn, we got to do something. And, and we worked with the city of Jackson and we did a really hard uh, grassroots campaign. And we got out to the churches and the radio stations. But the bottom line is Mississippi is doing a great job. We just have to get our young people vaccinated. Right. Wonderful. Good that deal. is terrific. Y'all have done a great job, because uh, I've seen some of the work you've been doing around. As a matter of fact, we've reported on it quite a bit. So good That's job. Good, good, good job. job. Thank you, Dr. Quinn. Thank you. And remember to call the state's COVID-19 hotline to inquire about vaccination appointments near you. That number, it's up there on your screen, 877-978-6453. You can call between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening, seven days a week.